there, Deborah Donaldson here, and did you know that if you are using high level that you can set up an auto response to Instagram and Facebook DMs automatically through the workflows. You don't need to pay for ManyChat, you don't need to pay for Zapier. Uh, this can all be done automatically through your high level account. And I'm going to be walking you through step by step today and show you how to set it up. It is super easy, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I am all logged into my high level account and let's jump into it. So this is the launch pad here. Just as an aside, once you get your Facebook uh, linked up to this platform, if you are running Facebook lead ads, you can have the lead ad sent directly to high level without having to use Zapier. So this in itself is going to save you some money, save you some time. You can have the leads put automatically into your account without worrying about it. So uh, the first thing that you want to do to set up for Instagram and Facebook DMs is go to your marketing. So I've already got that pulled up here. Those, this is the social planner. The first thing that you need to do is connect up your Facebook and Instagram. You would just click on this blue button here and follow the directions. It's very straightforward. The thing is, is that you can only connect uh, to a Facebook page or a group. You can't connect up to your uh, personal profile. So uh, you just need to make sure you follow that. And then with Instagram, it needs to be a professional account. So just follow the directions, click on these, get connected. That's step number one. S uh, set up your connections to Facebook and Instagram. There's also the option to set up to TikTok. I haven't done that yet, but uh, I may play with that a little bit later. Okay, so once you are all connected, then the next step is to go to your automations. And your automations, you're in workflows right here. You're going to create a new workflow. And you're going to start from scratch. And then just to make things uh, easier to find, instead of having this big long number, you can change the name of your workflow to whatever you want. Uh, I am going to name this IGDMs, just to, so I know what to look for. Okay, so then the first thing you're going to do is you need to set up a trigger. And a trigger is what starts this whole workflow. So the trigger is going to be customer, customer replied. Okay, so then next you need to do is set up a filter. And the filter would be your reply channel. right here reply channel and the channel you're using is Instagram so you can see here Facebook and Instagram DM and then you need to add one more filter and this is where you're putting in your keywords so the other filter is contains phrase so anytime someone responds to your DM using a specific phrase you can pick whatever you want whether it's passive info webinar you can use whatever phrase you want, but I'll just say info. And then you're going to say save trigger. So once you've entered in your trigger, what's going to happen? What do you want to happen? Well, you want a response to go back. So this is where you're going to add your first action. And your first action is going to be an um, Instagram DM right here. And this is where you're going to type your message. And you might say, thank you for your interest. Oop, interest here. Oops. I can't type. Interest. Here is the um, webinar info you requested. And then you could put your link right here. And if you've got a link tree uh, page or whatever, you could even put your link tree in there if you're promoting multiple offers and you've talked about that in your Instagram. And then once you're done, you're going to save the action. Now, before you uh, click out of here, in order to activate this, uh, first you need to save it. And then once it's saved, what you need to do is you'll see over here it says draft or publish. If I leave it on draft, nothing's going to happen and it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that you've got it set to publish and then save it again before you click out of here. Of course, if you're not ready to go uh, active with it, then keep it in draft form until you're ready. 
But as soon as you're ready, make sure you click publish, save it again, and then you are all set up to have your um, automatic responses to Instagram DMs or Facebook. Once everything is set up, this is going to just save you so much time because you're going to be auto-responding to all of those messages that you're getting in your Instagram and Facebook.